Hello, in this lecture we're going to continue on with our master budget and we're going to move on to the budgeted income statement at this point. So quick recap, once again we're going to go through the whole thing here, Just this does have to be done in order if we break it down into its pieces. It's not too bad, but we do have to start off with a sales budget, then a production budget, raw materials budget, direct labor budget, factory overhead budget, selling expense budget, general administrative budget, and then we had some cash worksheets to help us out with the cash budget. And then we did the cost of goods manufactured budget. And now we're going to scroll down to the cost of goods sold budget. Those two items are going to be needed in order for us basically just to get that number on cost of goods sold for us to calculate on our income statement, which is where we are at now. Now, of course, an income statement is basically income and expenses. We're going to start off with income called sales in this case. So we're going to total sales and we're going to pull that from up above. So we're going to say this equals... And we're going to scroll all the way up top to where we had the sales number all the way up here. That's that 1,004472 of sales that we will have. Then we're going to calculate the next number will be the cost of goods sold. I'm just going to say this equals what the cost of goods sold is up there where we calculated it on the uh, cost of goods sold calculation. And that will then equal what we calculated up here, this 1,191,865 we have there. And then the sales minus the cost of goods sold will be the gross, oh, I'm going to undo that, undo that. That'll be the gross profit. And we're going to subtract that out, so our cost of goods sold is kind of like our main expense. So we're going to say this minus the big expense, the expense related to basically inventory. And then we then are going to scroll down to the next set of items. Those items are going to be operating uh, expenses, expenses, colon. And we're going to start off with sales commission. Sales commission is going to be an expense and it's not included in the production process. It's not up here. It's going to be down here in kind of like the period cost generally. And so we're going to say that equals and we're going to scroll up to the uh, area where we calculated the sales items. So we have the sales commission here, and it's going to be the sum of all of those. So I'm gonna just say equals the sum of the sales commission for July, August, September. We also could have got it from the uh, cash flow budget because we did pay cash for this, so it would be on the cash flow budget as well. Then we're gonna have the sales salary sales salaries and we're going to say the same thing i'm going to say this equals and once again we could take it from from the sales budget as well but i'm going to go back up here to our our uh, i mean we could take it from the cash flow budget as well but i'm going to go up to this area